ECN Trade Technical Webinar. Good morning, my name is Robert Clayton. In the last 24 hours, the price action in the Australian dollar broke the 75.85 support and now sets the range up on the day of 75.10 to 65. <clears throat> Although there is a mild rise in the hourly technical pattern in play, viewing the broader outlook, we have clearly broken down and it's in a very signal is in play. From the last two heavy uh, declines in the dailies, you can see that the pattern now holds towards the support of 73.90, which I anticipate to see fresh demand return or pro possibly profit taking and reassess from there. The reason behind that is if we do break through 73.90, it does open the way towards 71 to maybe 70 and a half cents. Looking at Euro, the overnight price action moves away from the 114 level and stabbed at the 113.30 support. Staging a mild recovery on the day, I'm looking for a range of 113.30 to 114.30. Any advances towards 114 I still view as a place to short the market. And looking for a move further with a break of 113.30 down towards 112.40. Now only 112.40, if we see that break, doesn't expose a, a, quite a heavy fall towards the 110 region. One, and looking here around about 110 and a half. That, that level will only be exposed, as I've mentioned, if we go through 112.40. Looking at dollar yen, still weakness continues overnight and, and the move under 111 now poses a threat towards 109.60. However, it should be pointed out that we are in a smart, small uptrend and a break towards uh, 110.60 we'll actually see a further move up towards 111.20 to 111.90. At this current stage, I'm not, a, I'm not in a pl uh, place to, to suggest a short position around this level, unless we see a break of 109.60. If 109.60 breaks, then that does expose, as you can see, further weakness towards 108.90 and reassess from there. Sterling overnight still continues to play on the weak side and closer now to the target I've been looking for 140.40. If we break through that level of 140.40 then that would expose a further move down to a possible target of around 136 as an objective. On the day I look for a range of 141.10 to 141.90. And to wrap up with gold, gold's now pressing towards the upside, but it is at finding overbought oscillator. On the day, I'm looking for a, a, a pullback to 1,225, and if it does break there, then I expect to see a further decline down towards 1,12.18 to 1,12.08.10 before seeing a recovery. In case, in the case if we see a break of 1,12.34. That would give bullish momentum up to a target of 112.45 and reassess from there. So just to wrap it up, I expect to see further weakness in the Australian dollar. Down towards that target of uh, 73.90 eventually. I expect to see further weakness in Euro and look towards 112.40 on the break of 113.30. Uh, dollar yen I believe will recover from the low 110 region up towards the high 111 region. Sterling looks towards 140.40 as an objective and gold to show a mild pullback. Thank you for listening and have a great day.